And we are back with another tech call. Uh, welcome everyone out there in the diesel world. Once again, my name is Zach, and I am joined by everyone's favorite mechanic, <laughs> Billy Williams. I don't think that, I'm, I'm not sure about that. Well, it, it's it sets the bar like right at expectations. Okay. Like everyone's favorite mechanic. It's like you know the the it's fa- like everyone's favorite lawyer. They're really there. There's yeah. not one. But. That's a better example than where I was going to go with it. Um, so recently, you know, we, we had a, a, a first here for the show. Normally when you talk on the phone with customers, they're just that they're customers. They're, they're not really, uh, we don't know them beforehand. Um, it's, it's sort of a fresh meeting and you just sort of launch into the diesel tech talk. Yes. And today was a little bit different and kind of a little special for me. Um, uh, I, we were, I was driving into the studio here to, to, uh, we're high atop the Pulse Building in Bolivar, Tennessee. Yeah, pull the microphone in a little closer. Uh, and um, so we were able, to, uh, while I was uh, getting out of the car, I got a call from a very dear friend and uh, who I've nursed his diesel for as long as we've known each other. Yeah, and he's driving a 2001 60 Ford Power Stroke F350. So. If I've learned anything in the short time that we've been recording these calls, it's that the six O's, those are the just just rife with problems for diesel owners. Y'all who post comments, he said that, <laughs> not me. <laughs> I'm just going off like I've you. been eviscerated for for, for yeah, crapping you've got a lot on, of op- on opinions on, thrown at you. Yeah, so uh, I'm just going he, off the empirical evidence. That's all. Yeah. So we're going to give him a call, uh, um, and he sent me some uh, a code package. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, like, just a little bit of the history before we get into the call. Uh, so he's driving the 6.0. Uh, his starter went out, uh, and the truck sat up, sat up about a month. Um, and then when he went to, he replaced the starter, obviously, and but now the truck is not starting at all uh, after sitting up for a month. So he, he sent you some scanner codes. He sent me some scanner codes, and I, and I did a little research while I was waiting for um, everything to come to life up here. Um, and I was in an office downstairs and um, got a computer, looked up some of the codes. Most of them I recognized, so it wasn't. Uh, um, uh, I, I think I know what the problem is. I want to get into get into a little bit of detail with him, ask mm-hmm. him a few questions, of course. and um, and and maybe rib him a little bit, but because. That's just what we do. But I thought, um, I thought it was a friendly call. But yeah, we, so we're just going to touch base and and see. Like I said, he um, um, he sent me the, the codes. I've went over them, and so we just need to call him and and uh, see if we can get this thing fixed. So let's see the call. Hello. Hey, Billy V. Hey, man. Yeah, let me ask you a question because I'm working. You don't okay. mind being on the air, do you? Being on the air. On the air on our <laughs> YouTube channel. Um, today's my content day and, and, um, um, so, um, uh, don't say anything ugly about me. That's the only thing I'll say. Uh, for those out there who are listening, um, I have a, a real neat, um, thing today. Normally I talk to complete strangers about their diesel problems, but, uh, my good friend, my contractor, my cohort in scouting, um, the list goes on and on. Uh, I am, uh, uh, I am his Sundance to his butch. Um, so, um, it, Billy is, uh, got a six liter that I have been nursing along for a number of years. And so we're going to talk about it. So Billy, for the benefit of the folks out there, uh, let me just kind of go over the codes that you sent me. Um, okay. And I'm not going to go through all of them, but essentially you've got a keep alive memory error code and uh, obviously glow plug uh, circuit. Um, okay. The the keep alive memory is probably due to the length of time that the uh, truck set up. Um, right. Okay. And so normally when it goes out, you know, it uses shortcuts. It just takes the last known entry from a sensor so it doesn't have to go out and get look at all those sensors. When you kill the keep alive memory, that next crank time is going to be especially long because it's got to go out and it's got to reconnect with all those sensors, essentially. Okay. Um, um, have you 
got a test light or something, you can check the glow plug circuit to see if you're actually getting voltage to the glow plugs. Uh, I did, but I, I actually think it went out. Like I can get another one, but how would I do that, Billy? Well, you know, you could check the the wiring um, going to the you know through the valve cover gaskets. Um, um, well, I, I, no, I'm sorry, I take that back. Um, it, 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 it looks to me like your glow plug system's not working. Normally, a couple of glow plug errors, but you've basically got the whole set that are saying that they're not firing. Yeah. And that makes me think that the controller is not working. If you, okay. wanted, if, you, if you wanted to bypass that, you know, find the glow plug hot wire and just temporarily run it to the battery and then, and then see yeah. if they start... The other thing that you could do would be to, um, um, I, I don't know when was the last time we changed the glow plugs in that, um, but it, you know, it, it, um, th there's nothing serious in this code package that you sent. Um, okay. Okay. there's, you know, I'm not seeing anything relative to cam position or, or, or anything like that. Let, let, but let me ask a couple of questions. Um, okay. When you're trying to start it, um, is it trying to hit at all, or is just the starter spinning it over? It's not even trying to hit. You know, I try not to use uh, starting fluid on a diesel, but sure. every once in a while, down through the years, I've shot a little starting fluid. So when it wouldn't, when it wouldn't kick, act like it was trying to start at all. I sprayed a little starting fluid in it and. It, it acted like it wanted to, so I thought, okay, let's get her kicked over, and I tried it one more time, and it and it would, you know, spin like the motor was fixing to start, and then it would die back out. So I only tried it twice. I don't want to mess something up. So I thought, well, before I do anything else, I want to talk to Billy. Yeah. So, well, um, uh, I um, – if I had to guess, it, 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 everything I'm looking at, I mean, if I was there under the hood, I'd, I would probably change the, the glow plug controller. Um, okay. And um, now, you know, um, from there, um, it, it may be that, you know, set of glow plugs. Um, honestly, I, I, I can't remember the last time that we were, we were in there. Um, yeah, but, uh, you know, it, it might be that, the um, that it's time to change those two items. There's nothing else except for the keep alive memory. Now, right. um, I, you can't rule out that there being a PCM issue. Um, okay. but if you had that complaint, but the truck hadn't set up for a month, I would be telling you to look at changing the PCM or at least getting it reflashed. But okay. with the, with the glow plug error codes, the fact that it's set up for a month, you got a new starter, uh, you know, your batteries have been disconnected. Um, so now it's having to relearn everything. And if, you know, if for some reason the, the glow plugs aren't firing, it's, it's just not going to start. Um, okay. so, I would, um, you know, and if you want to, um, uh, not now, but if you want to call me, um, after I get done here and I can check with the shop and see if they have that stuff on the shelf and, and we can arrange okay. for you'd pick it up. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Whenever, uh, I'll give you a call later this afternoon and, uh, it's probably going to be Thursday evening. It's over at John's house right now. So it's probably going to be Thursday evening before I can go by there and try to do anything with it. So, um, yeah. Uh, now, it, it seems kind of strange to me that it, it looked like almost every cylinder of the glow plug was throwing a code. So, and that's I why I think that, it's I a controller. That, yeah, and that's why I think it's a controller. Yeah. Because okay. if if if. If you had, you know, a, a, a you know circuit failure further down, you would get, you know, right. a few glow plug codes. 
but yeah. it, it looks like you're, it, it doesn't look like it's reading any glow plugs at all. Okay. Which like I said, makes me think it's a controller. Um, okay. so that, that should be an easy fix. Um, um, and like I said, we'll, we'll talk this afternoon. I'll check with the shop and make sure they have the stuff. And okay. um, cool. I'll just put it on your bill because, or, or, cool. or my bill with you, because <laughs> I'm going to need you to come out and give me some advice, or some contracting advice. One way or the other, partner in crime. So. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> it'll, it'll come out. And yeah. I'll give you a free plug here. It's first first time ever. If you're in the Memphis area, Construction Concepts is your company to go to. Uh, hopefully there'll be a sponsor one day and kick in tons of money. There you go. There you go. Nine zero one six two eight five one one four. There you go. And uh, we do we do bedroom. I mean bathrooms and kitchens. That's our specialty. We love doing it. And and you you did a heck of a job on mine. Uh, never ever tell your wife that there's an unlimited budget and then hire the perfect contractor. There uh, you go. That's why I'm still working today. But anyway. Hey, uh, I, plug, I, yeah, we, we will talk and, um, and like I said, I'll, uh, I'll make sure they have the stuff that you need, but I, th- I think, I really do think a controller, if you want to put a set of okay. glow plugs in now, wouldn't be a better time. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. All right, man. We'll see you. Appreciate you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. So I had a talk with Billy Vess. He gave him a nice little shout out for his business. He, he is a very reliable contractor, so if you need something done in Memphis and you need a bathroom renovated, give him a call. Uh, now that his truck's fixed, he'll be there as soon as he can. Um, but but based on the codes, you know, back to the troubleshooting of it, uh, after some conversation with him, said it's, you know, likely an issue related to the glow plugs. So so what, what led you in that direction? Well, you know, there were a couple of things. Uh, one was, you know, he had a uh, glow plug codes uh for all eight glow plugs which which is odd which is a little odd and and that's why i recommended to him to uh, look at changing the controller mm-hmm. um, the glow plug controller yeah. the glow plug controller there are some other things um but I, I i really believe changing the set of glow plugs and putting a new controller in is probably going to correct his problem um, now, now, why would that after the truck like sat up for just a month? Why would that glow plug controller start to fail? If you had to speculate on it, well, it's a combination or, or a comedy of errors. Um, when when you when your truck sits up without the benefit of power, mm-hmm. um, your cam memory, keep alive memory, K A M, uh, dies. And that sets a code PO603, which he had. Okay. And the I liken it to uh, an experience most of us have had where, you know, we have a computer that um, maybe gets powered off for a long time, an old laptop, and we try to power it up, and it, it can't connect because the program is outdated. It can't connect to a, a, a source to tell it what time it is. Right. And so you get this black or blue screen, and mm-hmm. um, at that point, you either take it to a repair person or you sling it against the wall. Um, right. And, uh, well, a truck computer is very much like that. If it sits um, for a very long time, it has to go out and reconnect to those data streams uh, individually. And that's why you have that extended crank time. Um, okay. Okay. And, um, I think what's happening is he's got extended crank time, which probably, and he already had probably a compromised glow plug system. Mm -hmm. And, um, but win, lose, or draw based on the code package, this is going to be the cheapest thing to him start with. Right. Um, because if we start talking about reflashing PCMs or replacing them, God forbid, it's going to be a lot more money. Right. This is a simple solution that may correct the problem, so might as well start with this before you get further down the rabbit hole. Exactly. So, uh, <coughs> and and um, this will be one that um, I'll be with from the womb to the tomb. <laughs> There'll okay. be some reoccurring Billy I mean, episodes. It, it, you know, Billy can call me anytime, day or night, and um, and but we will get to the bottom of it. And if it's anything different, uh, I will certainly let you guys know. All right. Well, uh, we look forward to the next conversation with Mr. Vess. Uh, if you have a conversation that needs uh, 
having about your diesel, you want some advice or you want to troubleshoot or just talk tech, uh, give us a call. Our office, uh, is, our office number is 1-800-961-9290. You can also learn more about our company at www.dieselcare.store. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Yes, I'm built out and bound to go. I'm going to leave, leave here running because walking is most too slow. All right, back to one.